Your Excellencies, Ministers, Ambassadors, all the distinguished representatives, scientists, experts, let me welcome all of you to the Arctic Circle Japan Forum. This uh, gathering dedicated to discussing the role of Asia in the future of the Arctic. I want to begin by thanking uh, Chairman Sasakawa and the Nippon Foundation and Dr. Tsunami from the uh, Sasakawa Peace Foundation for the excellent cooperation in hosting this forum here in Tokyo. Without their strong involvement and constructive cooperation, it would have been very difficult to bring this uh, international gathering together. But I also want to thank the government of Japan for their uh, strong involvement in this forum. The presence of four distinguished ministers from the government of Japan and uh, many members of the Japanese parliament is a very strong signal of the importance that Japan puts on the future of the Arctic and the engagement of the global community in that important part of the world. When the Arctic Circle was founded 10 years ago, the Arctic was still a peripheral uh, item on the global agenda. Now, as we see at this forum, it has moved center stage on the new geopolitical playing field and in the global economy of the 21st century, as well as being the front line of the battle regarding climate change. And the role of Asia in this future is of paramount importance. So in addition to the annual Arctic Circle assemblies in Iceland every October, which are attended by over 2,000 participants from more than 70 countries, the Arctic Circle forums in different parts of the world constitute a major demonstration of how this remote part of the planet in previous times has now become a primary global concern. So we want to thank all of you for having traveled from afar, not only from the other major Asian countries, all the Asian observer states in the Arctic Council, but also from the United States and Europe, as well as our Nordic partners for being here together with us for these three days. And I am absolutely sure that at the end of this forum, as we move to the Arctic Circle Assembly in October, the monumental contribution of Japan to the Arctic Dialogue will be taken into consideration in all the Arctic platforms and uh, among the Arctic countries as well as the leading partners in Europe and Asia as we come together to discuss and decide on our common future. It is an evidence of how global the Arctic has become that in the six months since last autumn, in addition to the very successful Arctic Circle Assembly in Reykjavik last October, the Arctic Circle has organized three forums. One in Greenland in August, which became the largest international gathering in the history of Greenland. In Abu Dhabi, in the United Arab Emirates in January, discussing the comparison between the melting of the glaciers in the Arctic and the melting of the glaciers in the Himalaya uh, region. And now the uh, Japan Forum in Tokyo discussing the role of Asia in the Arctic. And in the early months of next year, we will accept the invitation by the government of Germany to host a forum in, uh, in Berlin on the role of Europe in the future of the Arctic. 
This has become a very strong and powerful international journey with the involvement of partners from almost every sector of the global community, not only political leaders and diplomats, but scientists, ex experts, <clears throat> environmental leaders, activists, indigenous people, young students, and others. And we want to thank all of you for being part of this endeavor. But above all, I reiterate my thanks to our Japanese hosts for the extraordinary cooperation and how they have enabled us to make this forum an outstanding success. And with that, I welcome you all to this opening session. Thank you.